This is the lead flow page where you can set rules for your incoming new leads from your different lead sources. On the left side, you'll have the name of the lead source, if they're a buyer or seller type lead, and the name of the agent that the source is tied to. Toward the middle, you can assign which agent, group of agents, and which lender you'd like each lead source to assign to. And on the right, you can choose which action plan you'd like new leads from that lead source to automatically assign to. You'll want to make sure to assign an action plan to each lead source to take advantage of the initial text autoresponder and drip emails to help drive more interest. Clicking on Advanced Settings for a lead source will allow you to get more detailed with your lead distribution rules rather than having all those leads go to one agent or group. For example, maybe you have a superstar in your team who you'd like to work all leads with inquiries over 500k. You can create an advanced lead flow rule stating that all leads whose price is greater than 500k will assign to this superstar agent by default. If you have auto-tagging enabled in your system, the zip code your leads inquire about will be added as a tag automatically as they come in. So you can also set an advanced lead flow rule based on that zip code tag to divvy up your leads based on their area of expertise. Note that your advanced lead flow rules are processed in order from top to bottom, meaning that the rules at the very top of the list will take effect if your new leads match that rule. The default rule at the bottom will take effect if the new lead doesn't match any of the above rules. You can set agent, group, and lender assignment rules for each advanced lead flow rule, and you can also set action plan rules for each one as well, so you can tailor your biggest lead flows exactly how you like.